America, East and West. The pioneering spirit of Americans has busted the continent wide open. Lewis and Clark's heroic expedition through the Rockies uncovers a route to the West's most valuable commodity, beaver. Their pelts, frontier hard currency, traded by Native Americans for guns, knives, salt, and they're a high fashion luxury for the rich. They've been hunted nearly to extinction in Europe. Here, they're everywhere, millions of them. The freezing Rocky Mountain water makes the beaver pelts thicker, warmer, more expensive than other fur. New iron traps from New York foundries make catching them easier. Baited with the beaver's own scent glands, they're drawn to their death. October 1823, 300 eager trappers roam the Rockies, searching for their fortune. One in five won't make it out alive. Trapping's harsh, hungry work. 6,000 calories a day are needed to survive the extreme conditions, three times what we eat today. Jedediah Smith is the greatest hunter of all. 24 years old. He walks up to a thousand miles in the Rockies each year, traps 600 pelts in a season, three years pay back east. Smith is a devout Christian, doesn't drink, doesn't smoke. Bible and gun, a constant companion. He's smart, works with the Native Americans. The Crow show him ancient shortcuts, sell him horses, nurse his sick men back to health. Wilderness survival. For millennia, the tribes of North America have adapted themselves to live in any condition, from arid plains to harsh mountain pass. Jed Smith uses their knowledge and his skill to open up the West for vast fur trapping profits. He'll die a rich man, but today he's not the hunter. He's the hunted. Jed Smith's friend, James Kleiman, writes, The grizzly did not hesitate, springing on the captain, breaking his ribs and cutting his head. This gave us a lesson on the character of the grizzly, which we did not forget. The grizzly bear is the most deadly frontier beast. 100,000 of these terrifying killers are on the prowl. Up to 10 feet tall, 1,000 pounds. They don't fear man, yet. Today, there are fewer than 2,000 grizzlies in the Rockies. Halfway to death, Jed Smith's right-hand man, James Kleiman, stitches his scalp and ear back to his head. I put in my needle, stitching it through and through and over and over, laying the lacerated parts together as nice as I could. There is an amazing sense of, of confidence that's part of that American uh, spirit that doesn't um, even think about failing.
Jed Smith pushes on. This is the new character of America. Frontier grit, rugged individualism, survival. And something else survives too. The trails he forges become settler paths, wagon trains, roads, and today, Interstate 15. And Americans follow the new tracks west in a tidal wave of hope. May 1846. Thousands of men, women, and children. Riding, walking, pushing. They're heading for a new life 2,000 miles away. It was a land of opportunity. You can make of yourself what you want. You're only held back by your own desires. Germans. Belgians, French, Catholics, Presbyterians, Mormons. One of the world's great mass migrations begins. The pioneer spirit has moved on. In this colossal migration to Oregon and California, America will finally define its character. It's the American dream. Then, as now, the people want an already good life to get better. They can walk 10 miles a day for up to six months straight. Some go through 10 pairs of boots each. Half are children. En route, one in five of the women are pregnant. But these aren't America's poor. Families sell farms, save for five years to join the exodus, risking it all. I think if there is one episode that encapsulates the American spirit, I think it is probably the move west. Whip those mules and horses and cross those rivers and cross over those mountains to the unknown and say, I'm leaving everything behind. I'm leaving everything that I know behind to reinvent myself. A wagon and oxen cost minimum $5,000 in today's money. But it buys a complete life support machine. The wagons carry a precious cargo, a thousand pounds of supplies, and a grub stake for your journey, your entire new life in the West. The pioneering spirit is ingenious, essential drinking water captured from rain on the wagon canvas. Even the oxen's dung is fuel for fires. And like today, there are tolls. Native Americans charge $10 for road and $100 for river crossings in modern money. But the greatest toll of all, human lives. In all, 20,000 Americans will die reaching the West. 10 graves for every mile. But one story of suffering and death will show just how far the pioneers will go to conquer the West. 